Am I the only person going to school? Tonight, Florida lawmakers are looking to crack down on kids using social media with a proposed law which would ban kids under 16 from using apps like Facebook and TikTok. State Representative Tyler Saroy calls the bill critically important. A lot of these uh, adverse mental health effects can be traced back to social media usage. I think there's a compelling state interest uh, in keeping our children safe and it's time for us to act. If it passes, the law would make it illegal for kids in Florida under 16 to use the popular apps. And if they already have an account, they'll need to delete it or have it deleted for them by the company using a third party age verification system. These colors are so cute. I'm so excited to try it out. Up to 95% of kids 13 to 17 use social media. More than a third say they use it constantly. Last May, the Surgeon General issued a warning for parents, saying recent research showed adolescents who spend more than three hours a day on social media face double the risk of things like depression and anxiety. Psychiatrist Dr. Nina Serfolio. I think teens in particular, because their minds are still developing, and as teens you want to be accepted by your peers and you want to be liked, so we, they become even more addicted to getting a like or or, you know, their postings being accepted. Some states across the U.S. have looked to limit kids' access to social media. In Utah soon, parents will need to give permission for anyone under 18 to use the apps. But the proposal in Florida banning kids and some teens from the sites is already facing a battle from some who argue it's unconstitutional and a decision that should be left to parents. As a parent, this is a false sense of security. It's essentially the government and Silicon Valley trying to replace parents. At the end of the day, I am in the best position to decide what is best for my family and my children when it comes to social media or any other device.